Hi there, everyone. It's your friendly OCSB Learning Technologies Department here with a quick tutorial on using your bookmarks bar in Google Chrome. So in I'm first of all, I'm logged into my Google Chrome profile in Google Chrome browser. And so please make sure that uh, you've referenced the video on that or make sure that you're logged in under the proper account here. As you can tell right now, I cannot see my bookmarks bar across the top. You may have that defaulted on already, but if you don't, the three dots are helpful for you. If you click on the three dots and you scroll down to bookmarks and then, um, sorry, just to go back there, show bookmarks bar. If there's ones that you already had there, you can right click on them and delete. So with the mouse, it's right click delete on uh, your computer would be right click if it's on a chromebook typically it'd be a two finger tap and you'll get your right click options and then delete so i'm just going to send it back to kind of what the basics were right now and you can tell that i've already logged into my school homepage. so in this case it's guardian angels and uh, that might be something that you want to have bookmarked so there's a couple ways that you can do this um, one of the simplest ways is to click once on the Omni box, which is the URL box up here. And you can see that it turns blue. If I grab that while it's blue and I pull it down, you can see that little black line appears and I can move that when there's lots, I can shift it in anywhere. And I'll show you that in a few moments. When I drop it, it will drop it right into my um, bookmarks bar, which is great. I'm also going to uh, on this, on the Guardian Angels homepage, locate student portal and click on that as well. So now I have the student portal and this should pop up in a lot of cases when the students log in in their Chrome device, sign on a Chromebook sometimes there as we get that organized. Another way to do this um, is clicking on uh, bookmark this tab, which is the star. And if we do that, it's gonna ask you where you want to on the bookmarks bar and I can click done. And then it's also there right now. If I wanted to, I could grab this and I could put it ahead of my school and, and so forth. So. The reason why we'd want you to do this is just in case uh, in Google Chrome, your student portal doesn't uh, load, it's always good to just have it sitting there right now. So for the purposes of today, our bookmarks bar is one, how to show it, which we did through the three dots and then bookmarks and then show uh, bookmarks bar. And there's also options that if I have three or four tabs open, I can bookmark all the tabs. Um, and then in here, I can look at student portal uh, and then guardian angels as well in this case, and you can customize your own. But I think the most important piece of this one is to bookmark your student portal K to six or seven to 12 so that it can be accessible for your uh, child and for you as a student so that you can continuously access all the great softwares and learning resources we have on the portal.